At the beginning of each visit, it is important to take a detailed clinical history. Our colleagues from Ben Gurion University in Israel will give you insight now how to take clinical history from older patients with CKD. Welcome to the MOOC on taking medical history in older adults with the emphasis of chronic kidney disease. My name is Professor Yitzhak Metzer. I am the scientific director of the Israeli research team in the SCOPE study. By the end of this section, you'll be able to apply person-centered communication, taking age-related problems into account. I would like to introduce Dr. Ilan Yoshua from Maccabi Healthcare Services, the medical director of the SCOPE project. Dr. Yoshua, based on your experience as a general practitioner, what are the main challenges during anamnesis taking with older adults? Older adults have at least one chronic medical condition. Professionals tend to spend less time with the older patients and take a more authoritarian role. But older adults want to be autonomous, to be involved in, in decision-making processes and to be treated with respect. I start a conversation with open-ended questions, maintaining eye contact and listening actively when the patients start talking, trying to avoid interrupting conversation. In general, I try to include older person in the conversation and to avoid speaking slowly to their companion or caregiver. I always check if they want them around during the conversation. In case there is hearing problems, vision impairment or cognitive impairment, I'm trying to speak calm, loud and clear in short, simple sentences and sometimes take extra time to ensure contact and trust. I'm asking my patients about their current medications which give priceless information. Many times I found that they take too many medications which some of them cause adverse events and interact with other medications. Specifically for CKD patients, there are several medications which can cause major complications such as diuretics, antihypertensive drugs, painkillers such as NSAIDs, drugs for glycemic control, psychotropic drugs, and many, many others. Talking about sensitive subjects such as, such as depression, memory loss, urinary incontinence, and sexuality is always difficult, and even more so with older adults. In case of Bedouins and new immigrants, there are also problems in speaking Hebrew. I prefer a family member who speaks Hebrew that sometimes is also the informal caregiver to join the patient. But I try to emphasize that this person should voice what their loved one think, not their own wishes. Addressing quality of life of older people with chronic kidney disease, following questions may help to tailor person-centered care. Disturbed urination such as pain while urinating, voiding and toileting during night, fre frequency of vo uh, voiding, tendency to develop leg edema, and signs of exocosis. Macro, macroscopy of urine, blood pressure values, and vertigo signs, a positive medical history for metabolic disorders such as diabetes mellitus, surgical interventions in the urogenic tract, and instability and fear of fail, falling. One should also always pay careful attention to recent morphological findings such as renal sonography. Finally, it is important to discuss with the older person what is important for him, what are important values and motivation, and what goals does the person have for the short and longer term. These values and goals guiding my complex decision-making process. 